morning. Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. I just love how cats just get in the nooks and crannies of air. Oh my god, I've got the funniest picture of Biscuit actually from Saturday night. I'll pop it on screen. But that is me for the festive period. I feel like that should be all of us. <laughs> but anyway, I need to sort out this living room because it looks like a shambles right now because we had our sofa cleaned yesterday and it's been drying overnight. Oh, it's a little bit damp still, you know. But yeah, I <laughs> We need to have a little bit of a sort out. Look at these as well. I got these out the other day. I'm starting to do our festive table. These candles are massive though. I need to give them a bit of a burn down. I think this evening we are hopefully having our friends around, but we, we're not quite sure yet because of some family stuff that they've got on. But if not, we're gonna have a festive meal, just me and now, but hopefully with them too. So I wanna get these down a bit so that they're ready for Christmas. So we'll do that. So I'm going to do like a little fake Christmas table, little like preparation for Christmas table. We basically wanted to have a friend must, but we'll see. <laughs> just squidged in between all the cushions, but hello. I've just woken up and I'm so tired. I haven't vlogged in like four days, so I feel like I've lost, <laughs> I've lost my touch. But, sorry there was a couple of videos missing. I did mention at the end of Edinburgh that there probably would be, and I mean I mentioned at the beginning of Vlogmas that there probably would be, because um, it was my grandma's funeral, and um, yeah, it obviously I didn't film my grandma's funeral, that would be really, really weird. I'm glad it's been now. I'm glad we've had it, and I'm glad that, I don't know, funerals are strange, aren't they? Because it's almost like closure, but then, I don't want it to close in a way. I feel like I don't want to close the book on my grandma. <laughs> but then, it, yeah, I don't know. It is kind of closure because you get to gather with all the people that love her and talk about her and celebrate her life. And that's kind of how I'm trying to see it and how I, I really looked at it yesterday. Um, which was bittersweet. I actually did a speech at the funeral and it was really nice to talk about her and all the memories with her. It was really sad when I was writing it, the, it, the eulogy on the weekend because it just felt really strange. But then also it was like really nice at the same time. It was nice as well to chat to people, like obviously my dad and you know, people who did love her. Everybody sort of agreed that it was almost like she was ready and I really believe, and I know some people don't believe in this kind of thing, but I do really believe that as much as I would have loved her to be here forever, she was getting very tired and like very, very, very frail. And I think after my dad got married last year and she knew he was happy and settled again after, you know, the divorce with my mum and then other stuff and he was happy and settled and she knew that and um you know even me and now getting married this year I think she just felt like everything was okay and in the family because family was so important to her and it was it's my grandma is just this just the sweetest person because my dad was talking about it in his eulogy that <laughs> he called her a force of nature and how she only ever married to my granddad. I never met him because he died quite a long time before I was born. But though I think that was 37 years after he died that she, you know, just, she was alive. And she just never wanted to find someone else. She just is, she's very, very like old school traditional thought, you know, that you should only have one partner. Sad in a way because you, I do feel like I don't quite believe in that and I think you can find love again but I also completely respect that that was her thing and she was really traditional and she never wanted to look for somebody else but I feel almost comfort that maybe she's with him now and that must be so nice for her because she's waited so long. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense but anyway I just wanted to share that because 
that's what I was doing yesterday and um, I feel like I have definitely cried all my tears though. I've cried away all my eyelashes so I'm not feeling quite so sad about it. I feel like I'm in a place today and it will be up and down again but I feel okay and it was nice to have that day and remember her but anyway <laughs> I am so tired because the night before the funeral I slept two hours and although I had a really good sleep last night you know when your body's trying to catch back up <laughs> I'm not caught back up oh hi oh look at this little boy biscuit guess what it's Christmas this week your first ever one he's like mum I don't care <laughs> Guys, ever since Edinburgh, I cannot stop having this combo for breakfast. A cup of tea and a donkey biscuit. I just can't stop. I don't know if it's the type of tea bag or sugar that I got for Edinburgh, which was these two. But it just tastes so good. Also, I know my tea colour probably offends some of you. Actually, this isn't even quite milky enough for me. I love... A milky cup of tea with one sugar. How do you have yours? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. But I mean, this isn't going to keep me very full for long, so I might have something else too for breakfast. But starting the day with a donkey biscuit and a milky cup of tea just can't be it. Oh, you look so cute. <sighs> Merry Christmas. Happy December the 20th. <laughs> happy New Year. Happy New Year. How's Merry Christmas, Pesley. Oh, what Vlogmas is it? It's Vlogmas Day 12. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. Done already. <laughs> the Xbox is up here, that means it's Christmas. Mm, it mean, you know, our sofa was wet last night, wasn't it? So. <laughs> yeah, but still. It's Christmas, Buzzway. Do you want to get into a new game for Christmas? Buzz, are you going to see Dill? Are you going to see Dill and Granny? See Granny and Dill? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he thinks he's there. Couple more days, bro. <laughs> Why do you make those weird noises? You sound like an old man. I wonder if everybody thinks you're a boy dog. <laughs> she go to the bakery. <laughs> she popped out his kid's face. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, Vance. Good oh, boy, dear. Biscuit. How do you feel about that Biscuit? <laughs> <laughs> you want to run away? Oh! I'll oh, sing this, can you? This is such a good Christmas song. Doesn't this one just make you feel really festive? It's one, two, three, four, five sneaks to the Christmas! It does not, would not like that song if it wasn't a Christmas song. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> so you would not give this the time of day if it wasn't a Christmas song. It's just good. It's just got all the right feels. The new, and Niall hates the new Ed Sheeran. No, I don't. Song. Don't make yes, me ask you me do. You hate it as well. I don't hate it. You don't like it. I don't think it's as good as the golden old Come on, is. say what you really think. But I don't. I don't think it's as good as the old ones like this. <laughs> I think he brought in Elton John hoping that it would sound like a classic. Yeah, it's just not a classic. And that's just though. cheating, laziness. <laughs> that is actually it. <laughs> Merry Christmas time. Is that Quick all me under the mistletoe. <laughs> That's what Ed Sheeran <laughs> sounds like. <laughs> 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 That's the slightest thing. Oh, have you heard your voice? <laughs> You're a naughty But anyway, we've just popped to the bakery. Just sausage back. And we've got a couple of bits. So we picked up a bakery, fresh bakery loaf of bread. Went for a new one today. They actually had a Christmas loaf today, which we need to try. Yeah. Sage and onion, 36 hours fermented. They're all, all the sourdough ones are 36 hours fermented. Oh, then. I want to try that one. I'm surprised you didn't get that one. And then Niall also picked this up, which I thought looked really nice for my mum. That's a Christmas gift for Helga. Mum, don't watch. For you, but make it more sense. You know what the heck? I've really got away with one. <laughs> but they've done these um, homemade 
fudges for Christmas. Really nice wrapping. I want to get some of this ribbon. Oh, oh yeah. You can and make that yourself. I Why don't you do myself. a little little handy handicraft? Is that what it's called? <laughs> what do you, why don't you do a bit of DIY? No, but what's craft? And what's it called? Something craft. Handcrafted. Handicraft! Why don't you do a bit of handcrafting on your vlogmas? That'd be lovely. People would love to watch that. Oh. Well, today, guys, I'm making a, a red ribbon. Oh, maybe you could do it with me. A bit busy. <laughs> a bit busy today, actually. Not not near Christmas, you won't be, because you'll be finished. Still going? Why does it still say it's on? See, this is why it's so good. It's literally like six minutes left. Come on, in. <laughs> Come on, Louis. Biscuit? Do you want a bath too? <laughs> You're such a weird little cat. No, look at him. He's waiting for his turn. I just gave Bluebell a wash and he jumped straight in. You little monkey. I'm just about to head to the gym to train some legs. I've just popped on my old Bowen T set. This is actually one of my favourites. I absolutely love this colour. But I actually haven't really been training very much recently i think i went to the gym once last week because obviously we were away i mean it's just it's christmas time as i said at the start of the month i'm trying to kind of sort of stick to some form of routine but i knew that it wouldn't be very consistent which is fine but i'm gonna try and do like a good <laughs> just an egg at the bottom right now <laughs> I can't wait to just like sort out my face today and make myself feel nice because I look like an absolute egg. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought this week I, I really fancied trying to do a good week of workouts because I haven't really recently and I kind of miss the feeling of just feeling more energised. Obviously when we were away I did a couple of runs but I do love doing weight sessions so I actually went last night when we got home me and Niall went together and did some shoulders and it was really nice I really didn't want to go I was running on like two hours sleep but just did a quick 30 minutes and it felt really nice to lift and feel kind of strong yeah I'm looking forward to doing a leg day I've written out a session for myself and actually I was thinking this session is essentially like my kind of go-to leg day like solid leg day it's not too glute focused it's a very general leg session but I, f I feel like this is what I always go back to when I just want a good weight session so yeah I'm gonna bring you guys um, and you know what I'm also gonna do which I haven't done in a long time just make some BCAAs because BCAAs make me feel like I'm having pre-workout without the feeling <laughs> do you know what I mean I just can't really have much caffeine because I can't take it, but when I have BCAAs, I feel like, let's put it there. I feel like I have a boost, so this is the one that I really like and haven't had for a while, but whenever I have it, it makes me feel strong, strong, wild and free. Um, it's the Woman's Best Peach Iced Tea. I used to drink this years ago when I worked with Woman's Best and um, I saw it on offer in Boots a couple of months ago. I thought, you know what? Why not? So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna head to the gym, do some legs and then, oh, that went right up the mouth, that peach taste. And then we're gonna do some Christmas food shopping today, aren't we, Niall? Oh, I thought you were in there. We did some Christmas food shopping, aren't we? what that means on a cat because some people say when cats wag their tail it means they're mad mad yeah look at his tail it's so stripy his face looks, his face looks a bit angry to be honest <laughs> he always looks angry his tail looks like a maggot 
<laughs> so chubby. Yeah, it's a chubby and stripy. Will you wake it up? What's up, dog? Guess what we're doing. I've already told you. <laughs> we are doing our best of food shop. Are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm feeling young, wild, and free now. I've finally got makeup on. Oh, yeah? Everything's good when you have lipstick on. <laughs> Have you got a list? Have you written a list? I've written a list. Basically, we go? we're going to get the fresh. One? Are we going to do it in two parts? Well, we're going to get the fresh stuff in a couple of days on Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. And then now we're, we're basi basically, there was a year where the chocolate tin sold out. Oh my God. Oh no, yeah. So that was the main reason. Oh, Christmas 2020. Oh my God. Chocolate. I think it was that, that year actually, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. Do you remember that? Literally. Scarred me forever. That memory lives very... They only had roses left. <laughs> they only had the roses left. But yeah, there was a year where they sold out yeah, of celebrations and heroes. Today. Everywhere. What's, and quality. What's your favourite? My favourite is celebrations. I think celebrations is the king. Heroes is alright. Yeah, heroes is nice too, but I don't know, something about, about celebrations. celebrations. What's your just, I think guys? it's the red tin. It makes it seem more Christmassy. Yeah. But you know they don't do tin now, it's usually plastic. <laughs> You're embarrassed because <laughs> you don't need All of the parsnips. No, parsnips. but you say yourself, parsnips yeah, no. shrivel up to nothing. <laughs> yeah, sometimes yeah, that's what happens sometimes. Parsnips. Really on cold days. <laughs> Why does it always go that way with, with me and you? <laughs> Sexual chemistry in it. Oh. That's just, you just, can't, you just can't beat it, can you? Anyways. Anyway, jokes aside, we actually do need lots of parsnips because that's think, one of my no, favourite parts. But remember, it's four people we're buying for. Yes, four to be fair. Yeah. But so I, think I mean, I'd eat a whole pack of them to myself. No, you wouldn't. They not shrivel with up. Else. Not with everything else, Megan. Yeah, them. but bubble and squeak, mate. You got up Making to that. that. I don't really, it's not even nice, is it? Yeah, you fry up all the leftovers the next morning. Look how cool these are. So you know that game where you, put, you write on your head a name and then the, all the table got, wait no you've got to guess what's on your head that's such a good cracker it's not like rubbish in there we'll have some fun with that on christmas day will we <laughs> you feel impressed the best part of christmas shop food shopping the cheese counter mate <laughs> was that it's the most yeah <laughs> We need to go raid the cheeses now. I think you saved it for last. Oh, now look at these. <gasps> Truffle smoked salmon and whiskey smoked salmon. Whiskey? Well, you know I love my whiskey. <laughs> I've got my bottle of Woodford Reserve right here. <laughs> you don't even drink whiskey. I'm going to be making old fashions, whiskey sours. Oh, oh here we go. Be... We're talking about salmon right oh, now. Sorry. I want to try the truffle one more. Look at these Christmas desserts. This is what we need to get on before Yo. it sells out. This can't. This can't wait until Friday. No, the, the party stuff. These. Look at this. Tipsy. <gasps> I think we need that one. You know what I never understand? What? Why they don't do big sharing bags of Walkers? They're always these like random brands that are like the snazzy crisps, but I'm. I just. I'm a basic. I like these guys, but they just don't, they only do them in small bags. Yeah, pour them into a big bowl. They got a McCoy somewhere. Oh, oh my God, look. McCoy salt and vinegar, it's got to be done. Yep. My mum loves salt and vinegar too. But I wish they did like a big share bag of salt and vinegar or prawn and cocktail. Always left me. <laughs> Has to be done. I'm going to get my biro out at home and surf for some things. <laughs> You thought I would be grumpy about that. <laughs> I know, the other day I was like, we need to get the Radio Times. And I was no, like, you, no, oh you said, my God. No, you saw it on the TV and you are like, oh, we need to get that. And then you looked at me expecting me to be up and, and then I was just like, yeah, yeah, you should. <laughs> oh, you're a changed man. No, no longer like, the great. everyone likes that. This, this is a pretty one, this year. This is not a drill. Any EastEnders fans? I just read that Mickey's going to die on Christmas Day. Don't know how I feel about that. I actually really liked him, but um, 
I'm trying to see if I can find any information in my Radio Times. <laughs> Or whether Mick actually dies or he just leaves, but I think he dies. I think that is the big shebang this year. One of them anyway, I feel like they'll do something else as well. But I was really hoping that Mick and Linda would end up together. Anyway, I won't talk about this too long because if you don't watch EastEnders, this is very boring. <laughs> but I'm so excited for the Christmas special. The EastEnders Christmas special, tell me if I'm wrong, but is the best soap special of all of them. Anyway. We are home and I, oh, there you are, Biscuit. I wondered where you've gone. He just lies about looking like Jar Jar Binks, not Jar Jar Binks, looking like, um, what's the blobby one on Star Wars? Jabba the Hutt, that's the one. I just thought I'd show you a couple of things that we got from the shop. It was very successful. However, <laughs> the main thing I wanted, which was the chocolate boxes slash tins, they didn't have any. <laughs> I don't think it means they're sold out. I just feel like they didn't have any there. So I need to find them before they sell out because I really want celebrations, not roses. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you some of the more festive things that we got. So of course we got the bagels, the sour cream, no not sour cream, red onion and chive ones are a fave with cream cheese and salmon and lemon. Forgot lemon, but we'll get some. Um, on Christmas morning and just in general I actually got three packs because my mum devours bagels <laughs> and I know she will be wanting some so we got some of them we got some crackers to go with our cheeses I'll show you the ones that we got from the cheese section actually we got some really good ones digestives I was actually wanting to see if they had in any of their like weird flavours they do because I know they have like mince pie I think they've got gingerbread and a few others and I wanted to try some, but they only seem to have plain. But I don't mind that because they are great for a donkey. Also got the salmons, the truffle and the whiskey one, which say they go out of date on the 27th, so we'll be fine. Borson, oh my gosh, I almost forgot to get this. This is the best thing ever with some chutney on some bread at Christmas time. I love a cheese board so much. I'm just a sucker for a cheese board. So is one of my absolute favorites. I just don't get bored of it. You know, like some cheeses after a while, you're like, like camembert, love camembert. But after a while, I've kind of had enough. And it's a bit more of like a thing when you get the camembert out, isn't it? Cause you got to bake it. And then it's kind of more of like a thing for everybody to have at the same time. Okay, so cheeses. We got some vintage red fox, cheddar I think, maybe it's not cheddar, but that's the one that Niall really wanted. Oh, pork pies. And I'll tell you something, the big pork pies are nowhere near on the same level as the little ones. I'm gonna have one now, I've got to. But these on cheese board, stun. Cheese, grapes, pork pies. <laughs> we also got some brie. Some blue Stilton, and we got some hot, hot chili honey cheddar, which sounds really good. And this is my favorite. This is the vintage cheddars they do. And they do them in different shapes. So I think last year it was a star. It's like the strongest, best tasting cheddar ever. So we got one of them and it's a heart this year, which is cute. But yeah, those are the cheeses we got. <laughs> um, I won't show you everything because a lot of it is like vegetables and potatoes and parsnips and you know like roast dinnery Christmas dinner stuff but I think those are the kind of the interesting festive things we've got oh we also got some Baileys because you can't have a Christmas day without a Baileys do you know what I was just thinking of um what's his name Bryn in Gavin and Stacey when you were talking about mint Baileys. I would love to try mint Baileys because I love like chocolate with mint in it. So I might have a look out for that, but love a Baileys at Christmas, don't we, Basil? And I found this just at the end when we were about to pay. I found some lint chocolate spread. Am I disgusting if I try it like this? No one will know. Oh, well, that's so nice. It actually tastes like lint chocolate in a spread. I mean it should. <laughs> I'm gonna judge myself up. I'm going to judge the table up 
turn all the fairy lights on, make it all festive in here, turn some candles on and yeah, just get everything ready for when our friend must begin. We get some crackers on the table. I'm excited. I feel like it's early Christmas. Early Christmas at the Kirklands. Do we think it's unacceptable to wear this to Friendmas this evening? I just came upstairs to get ready and I'm so tired. I just can't be bothered to like make myself dress nice. <laughs> this sweat set is honestly my favourite thing ever as well. Adenola um, tracksuits are just the best. I love this one so much. So if you're looking for a good tracksuit... Adenola has some just really nice shaped ones. Anyway, I probably won't wear this because <laughs> I will look a bit like a slob. But what I'm thinking I might wear is kind of like a jumper dress. This one, this is a Zara one I got recently, which I haven't worn yet. I wanted to wear it with um, high boots, but I'm not going to wear them <laughs> in the house. But I might wear this and then put on like a knit jumper over the top as well because I'm just feeling like I want to like snuggle but anyway I'm going to get changed in a second but what I'm going to do first because I only have about 15 minutes till Elliot and Annie arrive is get the table all nice oh we've been out of focus this whole time and just pop some candles on as I said oh look a little biscuit look at him napping he's just too cute oh look at you sleepy man set up so it's nice and simple but I feel like it does the job sets the ambiance <laughs> I'm so excited to play this cracker game as well but yeah I'm gonna quickly get myself dressed and why do those candles look so wonky I don't know if you can pro no you can't really tell in camera but that one there looks so much taller <laughs> dinner is served what have we got here Mr. Chef what have we got here but a really good version. It's not too creamy, not too rich. Perfect. Oh, look at that. I might make it tomorrow in tomorrow's vlogmas and show you how to make it. For some reason. It's so good. You love carbonara, actually. I do, but only when it's like not too much. I think Americans are like put cream and stuff in there. Yeah, not don't need cream. You don't need cream. Cheers! Happy Friendmas! Merry Friendmas! Fisky on the end, look at him! Crazy one! Go and fix my hair in the mirror. Okay, am I a boy? Yes. Do I go to the gym? Why is that funny? No, it is. Hi guys, we have just finished Friendmas. It was lovely, and um, we had quite a few of, few games of the Guess Who I Am game. They're really, really fun, and actually you don't need those crackers to do it. So if you want a game this Christmas to play with people, you can literally do it with sticky notes and just stick on your head who you are and try and guess who it is. It's really fun. <laughs> but anyway, I am going to catch Pony Stenders. I can need to stop mentioning EastEnders, I know. Someone actually wrote on one of the Vlogmas videos, EastEnders with a sick face. <laughs> Am I the only person that watches it? I've literally watched it for like 15 years. <laughs> My parents watched it and I think that's why I started watching it when I was younger. My parents used to say to me when I was little and I heard them watching it when I'd gone to bed. And I was like, oh, can I watch EastEnders? They were like, no, it's too scary for you. <laughs> So I thought it was a, like a horror series when I was little, but it's not scary. <laughs> but anyway, I am going to do that. Maybe watch a bit of Made in Chelsea Barley, which started today, and finish up today's edit. 
but I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 13. It's my unlucky number, so please not an unlucky day. But yeah, I hope you're all okay. Sending you all my love and I will see you tomorrow.